I want to talk about something. About the true definition of the word persona or for persona. And why I am don't want to be called a person. At least. If you understand what I mean. The true meaning of persona is a mask, like the actors were on the ancient stage, and you can say indeed that our everyday interactions are nothing more than one comedy. What joke? You have nights that we call today police force or soldiers. You have teachers, scholars. You have politicians or kings and queens, how you want to call this shit. And you have bankers or bureaucrats. Or crown or the dictates of the dictator. Now, if you look to the top of the society, you can see that our everyday interactions are nothing more than something like one theater, a play, a poem. A joke. We claim that we are civilized. We claim that we are knowing right and wrong. And we also believe that as long as we follow the laws, the commands, the law of the society, that we are good persons. If you ask me, that's quite foolish. Because the law is not equal to justice. The law, or law, is just the status quo of today. It is the story, the law of the society. It does not mean that it is moral or immoral. It means just that it is the baseline society judged from. When they are fat, lazy, sloppy and judging anybody that don't hold themselves on their own make up laws. With our to, uh, I try to not to make you offended, by the way. There are many good laws but just like with traditions, there are not automatically just or justifiable. You know, slavery was law. And in apartheid South Africa, it was totally legal to rape black women. No. And just like it was in America, also uh, totally legal and not rape when you rape black people. Speak deeply of you are a white man. If you ask me, these kinds of laws are just what I am trying to explain to you. Lore. Lore line. Play. Of the society. Now let me stop playing the game that laws are by definition some good thing and let me look realistic and let me look with an eye of curious thinking and, ex and uh, analyzing there are only three basic Aspects of all hominids conduct. First, ego. 
but controls the will of themselves and is limitless. Second, compassion which controls the will of the who needs the will of the masses to succeed and is in his own um, work as not in, cannot to get anything. It needs and it leads to noblesseness and magnanimity, and it comes from empathy. There yeah, must we have mass, but just like compassion controls the will of the masses, uh, but it corrupts the masses. The word malice can be translated from Latin. Uh, to something like corrosion or corruption of impurement, disease. And so we can also judge laws based on this criteria. If they fall in the mass ego, or compassionate aspects. And as Martin Luther King once have said, one have one moral responsibility to disobey unjust laws. In other words, we have a moral obligation to disobey unjust laws. And the corporate slaveholders, or must I say, the bureaucrats, fundamentalists, the law masters, are also not free from judgment or criticizing. And when somebody can prove that a law is unjust, because it comes primarily from ego and or mess. Both are turned back to a civilized society, but more to a hierarchy or a dictatorship. It seems to me that we then have the right to break the laws without consequence. If you ask me, the Allied forces were not so wrong for storming concentration camps and for, for freeing Jews from the Nazis. The Nazis were oppressors. Even according to German law, the Nazis have done nothing wrong. It was totally illegal what Hitler and all his minions have done to the Jews in Germany on that time. Just like it was totally legal what the South have done to blacks in, F in, um, in America. And before that also in the rest of America. What, what whites have done to uh, Indians, to blacks to homosexuals and to animals today, still. But that does not make it okay. Since people don't need animal products to survive, don't need to eat animal body parts, like meat, dairy and eggs. Uh, actually, dairy and eggs are fluids and secretions of animals. It is unjustifiable. The animals are not willing participants. Just like in one time, the black women were not willing participants of the man raping, uh, of the man rapist, uh, white man rapists of America and the uh, South Africa. If you are not a victim, don't mention it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, 
it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty, say that their life don't matter at all, say that they are replaceable, laugh on their suffering, mock anybody who step up for the victims. Like people have gone so greatly when it comes to our own species. When you are a victim yourself. Now, things look a lot different from that angle. Animals are just like women and blacks, not born to surf for the elitist, self righteous, arrogant, myopic, uber species. Uber hominids, all these earthlings, are born for their own reasons. How can you ask for something you are not willing to give yourself? And I speak here to all the people who are conscious, paying for the torture, exploitation and murder for animals. And people are working in the hell holes that we call slaughterhouses. People are working in pit sections and rodeos. How can you ask for something you are not willing to receive yourself? Maybe then, now, or when you're on your deathbed and asking for mercy. May the words of Matthew Scully, Dominion, ring in your ears. Now, yep. you will feel how it feels to be treated like nothing, like your life don't matter at all.